The Retirement Analysis Module is Right Capital's way of allowing you to preemptively address client questions and showcase the value of your individually tailored recommendations. This module not only provides you with the tools to create proposals and dynamically make adjustments to a client's plan, it also provides a wide array of client-friendly, easily digestible charts and other visuals to act as the backdrop for your planning conversations. In this training video, we'll review the Retirement Analysis Module in its entirety, including action item functionality, adding additional proposals, the Monte Carlo Analysis, and each of the five available subtabs. When you first open the Retirement Analysis Module after completing the data entry for a client, you'll be taken straight to the Probability tab. Every plan in Right Capital will start with the same two plans, a proposed plan on the left and a current plan on the right. The current plan is always a direct reflection of the data entry coming from the Profile tab and is meant to represent the client's current financial picture. The proposed plan on the left will use the current plan as a baseline and will factor in any changes made using the action items at the bottom of the page. This setup allows you to dynamically model recommendations and what-if scenarios and see the impact on a client's plan in real time. The action items represent adjustable data entry inputs and planning strategies that contribute to a successful retirement plan. Here, you can adjust every input and variable feeding in from the client's profile, import strategies from a variety of planning modules, and even add new items that don't currently exist in the client's current plan. Any changes made or new items added will impact the proposed plan, recalculating both the probability of success and median ending invested assets. Profile inputs can be adjusted either by manipulating the sliders for each action item or by manually typing in a new value. The default action item display will include a number of key variables like retirement age, savings, and monthly expenses, but a full list of adjustable items can be found by clicking the edit button in the lower right. You can fully customize which variables are shown in the action items by including and excluding items on this checklist. New items can also be added to the proposed plan by clicking Edit and then clicking the Add New Items button at the bottom of this drawer. This allows you to add additional goals, income, expenses, and more to just the proposed plan. These items will be easily identifiable by their darker gray color on the Action Items display. You can click on the name of these items to revisit your inputs and make adjustments at any time. Lastly, the Strategies column on the right-hand side allows you to implement a variety of focused, curated planning strategies within your proposal, like a new asset allocation or Social Security filing age. Some of these strategies are directly tied to other planning modules in Right Capital, where you can dial in a detailed strategy for that element of a client's plan and then apply it within your proposal. After making one or more changes, click the Refresh button in the lower right to see the impact. In addition to adjusting the original proposed plan, you can also create additional proposals within this area by clicking the pencil and paper icon next to the current plan on the right side. When creating a new plan, you can either start fresh by clicking the Add New Plan button in the lower left of this drawer, or you can copy an existing proposal by hovering over that plan and clicking Copy. After naming your plan and clicking OK, that plan will become available to select on both the left and right sides of the Probability tab via drop-down menus. Selecting a plan on the left-hand side allows you to make edits to that proposal using the action items. The plan selected on the right-hand side is for comparison. That brings us to the Monte Carlo analysis. Both the probability of success and median ending invested assets are the results of Right Capital's Monte Carlo simulation, which runs a client's plan through 1,000 trials. The simulation factors varying levels of market volatility into each and every trial to create a comprehensive range of potential outcomes. The probability of success demonstrates the percentage of those trials that are successful. In other words, the trials that don't run out of money at any point during the client's lifetime. 
While 80% is often cited as a standard benchmark for a reasonable probability of success, this can of course be dependent on a client's age, risk tolerance, and willingness to make adjustments in the case of poor markets and unforeseen circumstances. Please feel free to use and interpret Right Capital's Monte Carlo analysis in accordance with your unique perspective and advising philosophy. The value in the green bar chart next to each probability of success reflects the end-of-life invested assets for that plan's median Monte Carlo trial. Also referred to as Trial 500, the median represents the middle outcome, making it a useful frame of reference. The median trial can be best visualized in the next area of the retirement analysis, which is the Confidence tab. This area provides a visual representation of the Monte Carlo for your proposal displaying the range of outcomes throughout the projection. The solid blue line in the center of the chart is the median trial. The median ending invested asset value in the probability tab will align with the assets remaining in this specific trial at the end of this client's plan. The 25 to 75% confidence level represents the middle 50% of trials and are captured by the darker blue band. The 5% to 95% confidence level, which is the light blue band, reflects 90% of trials, encompassing the widest range of possibilities. This chart will make it apparent if and when any Monte Carlo trials begin to fail, making it a helpful visual aid for better understanding a client's probability of success. As a reminder, the proposal reflected here will be whichever plan is currently selected on the left-hand side of the probability tab. This is going to hold true for the remainder of the subtabs within this module as well. Our next stop is the Comparisons tab. This area allows you to directly compare two plans against each other, highlighting the differences in invested assets, taxes, and more. There are four different scenario analysis charts within the Comparisons tab. The Invested Assets chart compares the value of invested assets in each plan over time, excluding real estate and other assets. The net worth chart compares the client's total net worth over time, including all assets and liabilities. The taxes chart compares the client's estimated tax burden throughout each plan. And lastly, the assets at retirement chart compares the client's invested assets at the beginning of their retirement. Unlike the probability and confidence tabs, the comparisons tab, as well as the rest of the tabs we'll be looking at today, are not using the Monte Carlo analysis. By default, this tab will be using the baseline projection, which is a straight line, linear growth model using your advisor specific return assumptions to project growth on the client's assets. This is the same projection used by the cash flows in Right Capital, and the dollar values you see listed here will align with those in the Retirement Cash Flows tab for each plan. To inject some volatility into the Comparisons tab, you can implement custom return scenarios to recalculate the values shown using a different sequence of return. Use the drop-down box on the right to toggle between return scenarios. More information on return scenarios can be found in the Right Capital Help Center. Our last two tabs, Savings and Retirement Details, both provide additional charts and key metrics for your currently selected proposal. The Savings tab illustrates the benefits of proposed saving strategies during the client's accumulation phase, today through retirement. Let's quickly review each chart. Current year savings highlights investment contributions occurring in year one of the cash flow projections. Savings over time illustrates the annual contributions that occur in pre-retirement. The savings rate chart recalculates annual savings as a percentage of the client's income. And total savings and returns highlights the individual impact of investment contributions and portfolio return as a client's assets accumulate. As a reminder, this tab is not using the Monte Carlo, but rather the baseline linear growth projection. Lastly, retirement details zeroes in on the client's decumulation phase providing a closer look at income, withdrawals, and other expenses in retirement. This tab offers three graphs that provide visual backdrops for crucial talking points. 
The income sources chart provides a simple, color-coded breakdown of the client's retirement income sources on an annual basis. The withdrawal rate chart illustrates the percentage of invested assets withdrawn each year to fund retirement expenses. And the retirement spending chart provides a similarly color-coded breakdown of the client's retirement expenses. You can utilize the charts and key metrics within the retirement analysis to help clients better understand certain elements of their retirement projections and highlight the value that your expertise and recommendations will bring to the lives of your clients. If you have any additional questions about the retirement analysis in Right Capital, please feel free to take a look at the resources within the Right Capital Help Center or to reach out to our advisor support team for more details.